Everybody, welcome to my channel so my name is Teresa and I do mostly makeup videos but for the month of October I would like to do like myths and makeup so I'm gonna be putting on my makeup and talking about local urban legends to my area I live in Buffalo New York so I did get this idea from Bailey Sari and she does makeup and mystery murder mystery and it's mostly she does true crime stories and does her makeup so i did get you know my idea stemmed from her idea also i did look up on youtube to see if anybody else did any type of videos like this and i did see some people do like doing their makeup and talking about personal ghost stories or just talking about ghost stories in general so I feel like this is a little different because they're like urban legends. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, this is my first video in the series, so I'm not sure how well I will do. So be kind. I tried to get as much information as I could. And I think I did fairly well with finding information. And I found some information that was a little hard to find that I just actually learned today, which I'm actually really excited about. Okay, so I'm going to put my makeup on. I'm just going to try to list the makeup I'm using in the description box in case you're interested. So I don't waste time talking about the actual makeup. But so today's video, I'm going to be talking about Holland Road in Angola, New York, which is also known as Pigman Road by the locals. So this road had a lot of eerie things happen, a lot of terrible tragedies. Back in December 18th, 1867, there was a terrible train crash that occurred over one of the bridges. And this is back like in the Victorian era, era where the trains were heated by coal. And the train derailed and the one car, car fell down the embankment. And the people survived the fall. But the problem was they had these coal burning stoves. And the coal fell, like tipped over and scattered all over the train on the people, burning the people, and the people were trapped in this in the train. So 50 people burned to death. And they call the incident Angola Horror. It's very terrible, very tragic. I guess the, the neighbors, the people who lived around the area tried to run out and help, but it was like a hot inferno. They couldn't get that close and they heard the they heard the people screaming. It it was just a terrible, terrible tragedy and probably one of the worst in Buffalo's history. So a lot of people say the area is haunted because of the train crash. Another legend, which the reason why the road got the name Pigman, is from this man and I found his name. I'm really excited that I found his name. Um, his name is William Derrick. I actually found a picture of his house, which I'm really excited to share with you guys. I couldn't find a picture of him himself um, because the family asked, you know, the family went on the internet and any articles, any papers, the family asked for them to remove it. So I'll tell you a little bit about the legend and then we'll get on with 
the truth that I found. So the story starts with the pig man, which this occurred about 50 to 60 years ago. And they claim he was a butcher and he lived on the house and the property between the two bridges. On Holland Road, there are two bridges that are single lane passes. And they're real old, really creepy. Like a lot of people go to that area to ghost hunt and stuff. And you have to be careful. You have to go really slow through the bridges, kind of honk your horn, make sure there's not a car coming, you know, the opposite way. I actually went there before. I went there a few years back ghost hunting with some friends. We parked on the side of the road and they had their little, you know, meters and different things to, and like recorders to try to catch ghosts. Honestly, I was so scared the whole time that I just sat in the car. <laughs> I'm a chicken. And the police eventually came and told us to leave. Okay, so I'll get back to the story. So the house was located in between the two bridges on Holland Road. And there was a man that lived there and people claimed he was a butcher. This is about 50 to 60 years ago, so in the 1960s. And he was kind of a hoarder, kind of a recluse, didn't want people on his property. So he would chop off heads of pigs and put them on stakes to like kind of scare people away from his property. And I also heard, you know, read that it could have been other animals as well, not just pigs. So one night, three teenage boys decided to play a prank on old Mr. Pigman. You know, play a little joke, trespass his property, maybe, you know, I don't know. I guess they were bored. So apparently they went on his property and pig man caught them and he wasn't very happy with them trespassing. So he caught the boys, three boys, and decapitated each boy one by one, making the other boy watch and put their heads on stakes to ward anyone else from coming on the property. So I haven't heard any truth in that story. Like there's no police reports that this murder has taken place. But I did find in the 1980s, there was some young lovers parked on this street in their car. And this street is very, it's like in the middle of the woods. There's no houses around. There's not even really street lights. It's kind of like in the middle of nowhere. Now, you don't get much traffic on that road unless you're getting like people who want to ghost hunt or just take a drive down the road and see what all the hype is about. So this couple is in their car making out by one of the bridges. And then a man jumps out wearing a pig mask and he killed them with an ax. And I guess they found the bodies by one of the bridges. So I did some digging on the pig man. I wanted to see how much is true, how much is urban legend. And I found quite a bit of information, which I thought was really neat. So William Derricks was born in 1903 and apparently he had a lot of deformities he had a deformed nose and he had pink pigmentation to the skin so that's where he got the nickname pigman and apparently william did like he worked with traveling freak shows to make some money and he also worked at the local garbage dump and that's where I heard he became a hoarder. I guess he stored a lot of stuff on his property. And William ended up, I can't get, I'm almost out of this setting powder and I can't get the last little bits out. 
so William, sorry, all this tapping. Hang on one second. Let me get this powder out. Okay, I got a little powder out. Okay, where was I? So William was a hoarder and he didn't like people, you know, going on his property. So there are stories of William actually chopping off the heads of animals and putting them on stakes to scare people off his property. Like I did find truth to that. Also, William actually got married and had children. He had a wife and family. Um, I guess he was just a normal guy who liked to keep people off his property. He wanted to be left alone. And I guess when you live out in that area, I guess there was only a few houses in that area. And it was really secluded and he just wanted his privacy. So I guess if people would pull up to the property or be close to his house, I guess people, there were sightings of him going up to people's cars and scaring them. Like he just didn't want no one around. I don't know if he was teased. That could be possible, you know, possible that people harassed him and teased him. So, I don't know. Let me grab some bronzer. But unfortunately, on Halloween, 1973, there was a terrible fire at his house. And I believe him, his wife, I'm not sure if his son, William Jr., was in the house as well. I'm pretty sure he had a daughter, too. Don't quote me on all this stuff, because I'm not exactly sure. But I do know that there was a, a deathly fire, and he did end up dying in that house. Some, okay, so there's, this area is full of ghost hunters, like I said before. And people have reported lots of eerie things on this road. So, I just had to look at my list real quick. A lot of people have experienced being followed by another vehicle. Like when they go through the bridges, they'll see a car following them and the car will just end up disappearing out of nowhere. There also has been stories of lights coming from the woods. They'll either see, it look like a flashlight, they'll either see one single light or two lights, like from headlights from a car. There also has been rumors of hearing cries and screams and even squealing of pigs from, from the woods. I don't know about you, but I would, I would probably, you know, go running. I'd be terrified if I heard anything like that out there. Because you're basically in the middle of nowhere by these two old creepy bridges that are super old and they're filled with graffiti. It's definitely a creepy, creepy place. What else? There also have been sightings of fires that are either in the woods or on the road. Just random fires. And apparently they just disappear. They just go away. Also, people have seen shadow figures. They've seen shadow figures up on the bridge. They've seen them running in the woods. They've seen like sightings of animals, like running in front of the cars. I mean, obviously they could be a real animal, <laughs> but I don't know. It's a very, very creepy place. Of course, there's also been sightings of Pigman himself running through the woods, um, going up to people's cars really creepy 
Also, one of the stories I kept seeing was stories of trains going over the overpass, speeding really fast, and then all of a sudden coming to a halt. I'm not sure if those bridges still have trains that go over them. If anybody's from the area or knows this story, I would love to know, like if that area still has trains. I didn't get that far in my research. There also has been reports of different types of smells and odors when you're in the area. One of the most common smells is the smell of burning flesh. Now, that could be possibly the remnants of the train crash. And that's just, that's so freaky. There also have been like a mildew, sense of mildew that doesn't even go away until they drive like miles away. Mildew in the air. So Pigman Road has definitely has a lot of legends and stories. Apparently the Travel Channel did like a story on Angola in Angola on Holland Road. Which is really cool. I would like to watch it. I haven't seen anything. I think it was done last year. And the series was called Hometown Horror. Which I think would be awesome to see it. I know the news channels. The local news channels have done stories. On the Pigman Road. It's a pretty popular, you know, local ghost story. I would love to know if any of you guys have ever gone to Pigman Road or if you have a similar story, a similar urban legend in the area you live. Because when I was doing research, I did see other sightings or other stories. Like, I think Illinois had a story of a pigman, which is very curious. I'm, I didn't look into it, but I'm wondering if it has like the same type of story. If you guys have any information that I missed or, you know, any stories, any personal stories, I'd love to know. You could leave them in the comments below. Even if it's not at, you know, Pigman Road, it's someplace like by you, like a local urban legend in your area. I'd love to know. I'd love to look into it. I think these stories are so interesting. I also want to know what you think about this story. I think it's interesting how I could find like the urban legend, I found some fact that kind of explained how the story began and what got twisted, what got changed in the story. And the story, obviously it changes throughout generation. Each person adds a story adds it a personal experience. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this story. I would love if you would like and subscribe because I'm going to be doing this every week throughout the month. Next week, I have a really cool urban legend. It's about a cemetery, a local cemetery that has a lot of stories surrounding it. I got a lot of personal stories from people I work with, um, my friend. So I hope you stay tuned for next week. All right, guys, I will see you soon. Have a great week, and I hope you have a wonderful October. Bye.